a man who has money and a woman who wants the money, it's a fair deal, you know? Whether the man has a wife or not, it's not the girl's problem. If you have not yet subscribed, then click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. So guys, I am not alone today. I'm sitting with some people. Can you guys tell the people who you are? Hey guys, I'm Charlie, a three-year relationship veteran. Hi, I'm Lala, three-year relationship expert. And I'm Benita, the third wheel and the cameraman, as you can see. Okay, guys, so today we're going to be talking about relationships. And in particular, we're going to be talking about men and women. Is it possible to be with someone without cheating? Is it okay if your girl deals with a bless up and brings the money home back to you? You know what I mean? Um, can you be in a relationship and not be cheated on? So actually, let's start off with the bless up part, right? So you have a girl and she says, okay, cool, like, you're broke. You're both broke. Here she is. She's fine, right? Mm -hmm. She finds a blesser. Um, and he gives her tons of money. And she's like, look, I'm going to bring the money home back to us ultimately. What do we say about that? Okay, well, it, it depends. Uh, do I love the girl or yeah. am I just passing time? No, you love the girl. I mean, if I... <laughs> so I'm, I'm broke, broke. You broke, broke. Oh, I I mean, we, we, we got to eat, right? Jesu! <laughs> no, eat. no, but you have to. No, no, but jokes aside, I don't think I would be able to do that because, well, I mean, you'll get sick. Yeah. Ultimately, you know. I think we can look at this from a different standpoint. I mean, she's bringing it back to you ultimately. She's bringing me back money and disease. But what if she says, okay, babe, I'm gonna like play it safe and me and my blessers are gonna be. Safe. You, you think blessers care? If I was a blesser, you think I'm gonna let a blessee tell me what to do? No, it's my money, my rules, meaning that what I what I ask is what I get. Therefore, your girl is being thrown around and she's going to bring all those things to you now. But you know, there was, this, there was this one girl, right? Mm. She had a blesser and she finessed. She got everything done in her name. They got her a house, or not a house, but they got her like an apartment. It was in her name and everything. When she was done, she broke up with the dude. Now, she and her man have a car and a place to stay. What do you say? But at what cost? True. I feel like if Thing your man allows you to do that, then he doesn't really love you, and that's not your man. In my opinion, huh? if there's a guy who is taking money from your blesser and eating it, he probably has his own real girlfriend that he likes. True. Yeah, and you, you're you like know? the you're like you're, the you're, blesser. You're, you're you're, blesser. Yeah, you're the blesser in the situation. It's a chain. Yeah. You're his blesser. Right. When you give him the money, he, he goes and feeds his, his real girl. girlfriend. Yeah. And then when when you're done with your blesser, and then you you give him half the thing, he's gonna leave you and go be with his real girlfriend. Because if you love a woman. There is no way you're gonna share her with anyone else. I mean, it's always been around, first of all, just like before it was called the sugar daddies. Mm -hmm. Now it's just called blessers, but now we're at a place where it's more, it's normalized, it's glamorized. What do we say about that? And why is it so, why is it so okay? In my opinion, the whole blesser, blessy thing is not wrong. If it's the situation of two consensual adults, a man who has money and a woman who wants the money, it's a fair deal, you know? Whether the man has a wife or not, it's not the girl's problem. And I, oh, yeah. That's yeah. his obligation. So I think less judgment should be on, on, on these girls, you know? I feel, like also, equally, yeah. I feel like as well as the on the judgment topic, I think we need to stop bashing the girls if we're going to bash people. It's bash like the two, girls. Two people are involved in the situation. So I feel like we should not stigmatize and bash the girls. The oh, blessies, we shouldn't. Yes, we shouldn't bash them. We need to bash. If we're going to be bashing someone, we should like bash. No, look, at the end of the day, the men are the problem. Yeah. The, 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 the young girl, or whoever she is, she has no obligation to anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only one who is wrong in this situation is the man. Mm -hmm. Yet, the man is the last one to get the blame. It's either your wife is not pleasing him, or the girl is a gold digger. The guy always just... Goes on with his life. Have you guys ever seen? Have you guys seen Epa uh, Uya Jola 99? Mm -hmm. in, have you seen it? Yeah. In every single time there's a confrontation, all you ever hear is you're not satisfying your man. The blame always goes exactly. to the female, yeah. to the side. Why is it that when it comes to cheating and stuff like that, that that when when a woman does it, it it's like the end of the world? And I want to know. We're gonna ask you now. Mm. Let's say that your girl were to cheat on you. Mm. Are you forgiving? No. Why not? 
I mean, I think it goes down to the whole age old theory, which I still, I think, I still think it holds relevance, you know? The age old theory that um, if a woman is to have an affair or to cheat, it's most likely because she's not satisfied with you emotionally first, you know? You're not, you're not being fully available to her, meaning that if she gives this guy a chance, most likely a man makes her laugh, she likes his company, she enjoys him, you know? So it becomes a thing of, she can't just go walk away from this guy now. Mm. You know, she's, she's, she's formed a, a sort of bond with him. So I think that's an age old theory and that when a man does it, a man can see a woman whose name he doesn't even know. Mm. And like it's been scientifically proven that like 20% of women who cheat, mm. don't, only one out of the 10 still love their husband. So he, not, unlike a man, he can cheat so on his wife and still love his so wife. So there's, there's some backing behind yeah, it. Yeah, like women don't love their husbands anymore. No, look, being a, being a guy, having guy friends, I can tell you that <laughs> a guy can meet a girl whose name he doesn't know, who he knows nothing about, doesn't, hasn't even really looked at her face, and he can have an affair with her, and then tomorrow forget her. Mm. Done. Meaningless, you know? Moving on. Meaning that... I don't know, it's, it's, it's less meaningful, but I don't know, you guys are women. Actually, yeah, let's, let's take it directly as a woman. Would you cheat on a guy with another guy who you feel absolutely nothing for, with absolutely no connection? You guys are women, so I think the answer... Honestly, I feel like if you're going to step out on your man and go cheat, it would, it would simply be based on the fact that you've been complaining about something, he's not changing, he's not emotionally there for you, he doesn't support, even if he gains weight and he's ugly, woman will stay with you. But if you become emotionally unavailable, you're not supportive, you don't pay attention, you don't compliment her, that's when I believe that you didn't step out and find someone else. And not even on purpose. You might just find that this person is just giving you the attention um, that, you know, that your man isn't giving you. But here's my question though, is that that being said, you know that when a man cheats, right? The girl's family, everyone will tell you, fix it, dress nice, you know, cook more or whatever, right? Even though a man cheating can not even be about his wife, it can purely be because that girl is fine and he wants it. But when a woman cheats, it's because her guy's emotionally unavailable, right? Don't you think that that's easier to fix than... As in, as a guy, if you step up, because remember, her love belongs to you. She wants you ultimately, right? Don't you think that, okay, cool, she cheated on you. If you step up in the ways that she needed before, that woman will fall in love with you and stay with you. Unlike a man who cheats on you just because he feels like it, or there's, there's not even a real, you may not even do anything wrong. And yet family will say, the woman, fix it, do this and that. Whereas for them, if a woman cheats, there's no fix it, it's leave. But why, even though clearly, the woman issue seems to be actually fixable. No, you, you, what you're saying is valid. It's a valid point. But once you talk about these things, then it goes down to simple patriarchy. It's, it's a man's world, mm. you know? And the assumption is that, okay, now we're talking about families are involved, right? Right. The assumption is that as a man, if you leave your woman, you'll get another wife tomorrow. Mm. You leave your kids with her, you go start a new family and everything is fine. But... As a woman, once you have three kids with this man, it's assumed that you have nowhere to go. That's a general assumption. Yeah. Therefore, what do they tell you? Fix it. Mm. Like, where will you go? Who's yeah. going to take you in now? You're 35, you have three kids. While a man, it's assumed that if you hurt you, leave. Go marry a 20-year-old. Have four kids. That's your new family. Right. Mm-hmm. So it goes down to patriarchy, but what you're saying is valid. If something is emotional, if it's an emotional reason, means give your wife the attention she required, and it's fixed. You know, so your your point is valid, but we can't ignore patriarchy right. in the way in the way the world is set up. Right. You know, your man will cheat on you. He'll do the most, right? And your family will be like, honestly, stay with him. Why? Because better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. Because you'll go to the next man. He will also cheat on you, but he'll beat you as well. Now, the point or the question I'm trying to get to is, do you believe that it's possible to be in a relationship in today's time and not be cheated on by both males or females? I think, I think if the person really loves you, I think that's it's possible. I think it's possible, mm. you know? I mean, think of it in a situation like this where, I mean, you're two people, you get along, and also it goes down to the whole being with people you can actually hang out with, you know? Mm. Say you marry your best friend. You guys are gonna, you, you'll do everything together. Even if not everything has to be romantic, so you, you keep each other's company as more than lovers, mm. as friends too. 
<laughs> which goes down to a lot of these situations actually going down to stalker. If you like when men are with stalker, how happy they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Because they can't dance with their wives. They can't laugh with their wives. So now when he goes out, he gets to be free, he can no, laugh. Love he can be himself. Fair. You know? Well, men just love each other. What, 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 what do they love each other? Because they're carefree. Oh, they don't nag it. you. Yeah. You know? Like I said, if you're married to that woman who can cook and look after your kids, she's gonna nag you. Everything she wants to talk about is kids. You, you guys aren't gonna dance, you guys aren't gonna have any fun. You're not gonna go on adventures together. Yeah. You know? Meanwhile, if ever, all they wanna do is have a good time. I think we should also look at like men's egos. Because mm. men cheat sometimes for their own egos. Mm. Like to stroke their own egos. Like the more women I can get, like the better man or like a more manly so i think also that we need to take that into account over mm-hmm. i'm gonna marry my best friend because but you most see, people cheat because the I'm reason i brought up the whole marrying your best friend kind of thing is that if you're married to your best friend meaning that you guys spend a lot of time together your your your, your focus is going to be on her when when guys are with guys that's where ego peaks mm. i mean if i'm hanging out with my wife every day where am i going to get the time to think about my ego for how many women i can get but when i'm hanging with four of my friends He's getting a girl. He's getting a girl. What am I going to do now? Get a girl. That's true. So I think what if I'm hanging out with my wife? I think to avoid getting cheated on, keep your man away from his friends. <laughs> oh, wow. As, as controversial as that <laughs> is. Lock him down, That's probably ladies. valid. Lock him yeah. down. <laughs> probably valid. <laughs> now, what about men who earn less than their wives or who have a powerful woman Mm. and then end up going to cheat with some two-bit hoe because that's where they can actually ascertain power and stuff Mm. so as a powerful woman as a alpha female as a woman who has her money like what must what must happen with that now you get a pen tip papa do do something papa damn (laughs) (laughs) honestly because as a powerful woman, if you want a man your own age, who you have more money than, more power than, ninety <laughs> percent of the time it's not going to end well. He's going to take your money and go pick up a young girls. That is true. That is you true. Know? While you're at work, he's doing the most. Like that's that's the reality, honestly. You know, sometimes we just need to accept our realities. If you're a powerful woman, get yourself a pension and. Oh, well, get yourself <laughs> an older man. It depends. Or like someone higher than you. But they married. I miss you honestly. Have, have, have you not seen this uh, case of successful young woman in like their early 30s? They'll be dating a 50 year old man who has a wife. And like, you ask you're asking, like, you don't, you, don't, you don't need to be a side chick, you have enough money. Why is she doing it? It's the only man that can. I feel like, okay, I who don't know if I'm feel wrong, threatened? But I feel like women also like to look up to the man they're with in one way or another. Yeah. In some form or another. Yeah. You know? So you find that she goes and dates a successful 50 year old man who's married. Not because she wants his money, but because she wants a prominent figure there. So it's, honestly, it's really tough to be a successful woman. And why are you dating you a girl, nigga? And because they're everywhere. Like, <laughs> everywhere. I, I feel like broke mm-hmm. niggas always date girls with money or girls who are high. I don't know why okay, girls with. I don't, 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 don't know why girls. girls with money like broke niggas, ladies. Okay, what, what, what is what's, wrong with that? What's a broke nigga? A broke nigga is literally a broke nigga. Wait, what? A broke nigga is literally a broke nigga. A nigga with no, with no car, he has no car, he has no place to stay. He has like five million roommates. No money, no, no money. ambitions. He and can't stuff. pay for dates. He yeah. has to split dates. But can and I, stuff can like I that. tell you something, guys? Mm-hmm. So there's a broke nigga criteria, right? Mm-hmm. We're living in South Africa, correct? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So why do you women complain when one man has five women? Because the ratio of successful men to women, what's that ratio? How many successful men are there? <laughs> Remember, a successful man like, dates any woman. No, 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 but I feel like... But what's the ratio? No, but I feel like also in terms of broke nigga, you don't have to be like a super rich guy, but like you have to bring something to the table. No, you said a guy with a car and a guy with a house. What is the pull of guys with cars and houses? Okay, well, like you have be to... Be as woman. Okay, that's Be as beautiful that's a, that's a point. Are they, not, are they not about eight women to every guy with a car <clears> and a house <throat> by himself? Okay, those are and that's what You guys all... I always say, women all want one guy. All ten of you want one guy. And then you get shocked. 
Yo, ladies, you men out there, don't. Broke women there. don't want to date broke guys. Broke women want to date successful guys. Successful women want to date successful guys. Mm-hmm. As a successful guy, you have about 10 women going for you. Mm-hmm. And why? Women are now willing to become number girlfriend number four, five, six. Why? Because there's, only, there's not many successful guys out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think the problem is not having money right now, per se. Mm. The problem is if, like, this is what I think is a red flag, Mm. is if a guy is broke, but he's comfortable being broke. He's comfortable borrowing money. He's comfortable paying Mm, for debt. He's not, he's he's just going to complain about not having money, but he won't strive to get a job or, you know, that that is what I think is the problem. Okay, but now now look at it this way. You guys are university students. Say you're dating a fellow university guy whose parents are poor. But he's, 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 he's studying, you know? He has a good... He's, he's studying accounting. He's going to be an accountant, right? You guys call fellow varsity kids broke niggas. Wait, sorry. That's the person just broke sorry, parents. Sorry, sorry. No, no, am I wrong? You, no, Tell no, no, me no, no. if I'm wrong. No, no, no. I feel like I can, like, justify this. <laughs> I feel like I can justify this, right? Um, it's not, like, your fault that your parents are not, like, rich or whatever, right? Mm. But when we're dating, like, as much as, like, um, obviously, like, obviously you'll be like, oh no, like this girl's getting like roses, flowers or something. But like, I feel like if you're broke, you have to try to meet me halfway. You see, I, I get the whole halfway thing, but romance needs money. No, but I feel as, like... As, as a broke person, you can only do so many chairs just before now you're being told other girls are getting flowers. Then I wrote something though, mm. but like, if you're broke, this is not my words. Mm. This is not me. I'm just telling you what I read. Probably <laughs> Are you gonna say if you're broke, don't date? <laughs> yes, if wow. you're broke, don't date. Jesus is not. <laughs> but you see, it goes back to my point again. So now we've just ruled out the whole student population. And now, working men, broke, successful working men, they have the whole student population, they have the whole working woman population. It's now basically 30 guys, 30 women to one guy. Honestly. <laughs> At the end of the day, we must like yeah. we need to acknowledge the fact that um, dating is expensive, right? Mm. But then, if you date someone according to your level, because if you are broke dude, on your level. and you date a broke girl. girl or a broke yes. girl, the broke gestures are going to be, be nice for her. Exactly, wait, wait, you're wait. broke. Okay, <laughs> broke. Those are facts. Wait, facts. So, did you guys facts. honestly just say that? Preach the gospel, Did you guys money. just say poor people should date poor people? Yes, like that <laughs> on your level. Those okay. are facts. Oh, I was being neutral, but no oh. society, no. Personally, I would not date a broke girl. I wanna say I wouldn't date a broke girl, I mean I wouldn't date a broke university girl either. It's not her fault. If I'm gonna date a, a girl right now, I'm gonna need to date a girl Bye whose guys. parents were <laughs> <laughs> one week later. I'm gonna need to date a, a, a girl whose parents can afford Shots her fired. and a bit extra. You Shots. know? Because listen, unfortunately it is the way it is. If you date a girl whose parents can afford her, she can also take some of her pocket money and buy you something, you know? Mm. Why are women so broke? Bruh. Like, women are broke. Why are women so broke? No, no, that's not true. Women are not broke. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 listen. Women don't have cars. <laughs> women are broke in general speaking. You're talking to two females with cars right here. So first of all, women are not broke. But generally broke. speaking, more often than not, when you meet a woman, she'll be broke. No, but here's the thing. It's not that women are broke. This is what it is. Mm. My money's my money. Your, your money's, money's our, our money. money. Exactly. That's why women see exactly. women are not broke. Women are smart. Women are they say these women who are begging and whatnot, they have some money in the bank account. Yes. They're just begging for money. Yes. yes. <laughs> women, listen, a woman is also never broke. If, women always have money. Also, if your man is stingy, mm. you have to make up brokenness mm-hmm. so that you can get more from him so i think okay well that's a good sign at least yeah, yeah. no like no, no. women are not broke anyway guys that's it for today i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe. subscribe and i will be back with more videos if you want to see them again comment down below and i'll do best peace and love guys <laughs>